How excited are you about seeing the eclipse? Give me a thumbs up if you're very excited. It's yeah. curiosity in the classroom. And when is the next eclipse happening? 20 years. 20 years from now. Whenever that um, sun and moon both are there together, it will get dark just for a moment, but it won't stay dark for a long time. It's a lesson that's going to take these students out of this world. Like I'm happy, but also nervous because what if like I accidentally remove my glasses? Well, if you actually take them off, you're going to remember I got to keep these on because there's still going to be that outline of the sun that we're going to see. All right. Good afternoon, Taylor Stratton. We're getting ready to get started for our solar eclipse. We're just finishing up the last ones. And even the staff members are popping with excitement. <laughs> Probably about, maybe close to 14, 450. 450 bags of popcorn to be exact. Faculty and staff and students, we're going to go straight out the front door. All right, please be sure to push in your chairs. It's a watch party for the history books. First, we're going to go with kindergarten. And the best view is on the front lawn. I really didn't expect for them and myself to be experiencing the eclipse. <laughs> Even parents were invited to take in everything under the sun. Anytime they tell me to come, I'm here, no matter what it is. <laughs> okay, you guys, put your glasses on, put your glasses on. Put it up there, look, look, look. You can kind of see it. But it was STEM teacher Danae Sutton in her class who was truly over the moon. There it goes, there it goes, y'all. Oh my God, it's popping through. I can see it. About this experience. That is so cool, y'all. Sutton says her students used this week to learn everything about the solar eclipse. I see it, I see it. And the science behind it. Unfortunately, these clouds are blocking, but that's okay. <laughs> Despite some clouds, there was a break. It's gonna come back out. Oh, I see it, I see it. I see it, I see it. And these students got a chance to see everything they learned. It's doing it, look, you guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> come to light. That was the best one, that was the best one. What do you like? Like the moon. <laughs> like this. The Williams family says this is something they will remember forever. The cloudiness kind of blocked it a little bit, but you could sort of kind of see it. Um, but the feeling is just like, wow. Mom says she's glad she got to share this moment with her kids. It was great to be here, hearing them be excited about it. And with their heads to the skies. It's orange red, but more red. The moon passed right between the sun and earth. You can see it covering it. It was truly a mind-blowing moment. It is so cool. Like, it's really cool. In Nashville with photojournalist Angie Donis. So now you're a part of history. Kelsey Gibbs. One day you'll read a book and it says the 2024 solar eclipse, and you'll say you were a part of it. You saw it. News Channel 5.